right. Well, good afternoon, or uh, I guess I should say good morning, depending on where you find yourself today. And I uh, just wanted to say welcome to our virtual panel discussion on how the pandemic has changed the future of aging and how innovations in home health care uh, really can improve the health outcomes for seniors. First question. So if you could describe the past year for healthcare and the, the healthcare world in general in one word, what would you use? My word was unprecedented. Um, this is certainly a first in my lifetime uh, to have been faced with uh, a pandemic that was um, truly life-threatening to everybody. You know that there was this, this huge shift that we had to make, but also there's this feeling of kind of getting pushed forward in technology. You know, for the first time, folks who hadn't experienced, uh, you know, video chatting with their doctors or are using, you know, home health care techniques. Uh, a lot of those things got a real big shift forward. The, the phenomenon of health care from the home and you know, this that could certainly you know, mean a lot of things to a lot of different people. It could mean new ways of managing chronic disease, a, a rise in, in aging in place, um, rapid advancements in telehealth. And, and we saw a lot of that kind of accelerate over the course of the last uh, year or so. And I, I think one of the first questions we, we want to talk through um, is how has the, the COVID-19 healthcare crisis really accelerated some of those trends and, and changed the face of healthcare generally? I mean, um, technology, like no, no other time, was accepted um, as a use of providing healthcare services. Um, you know, we saw, a, you know, just this explosion about 12 months ago, um, you know, 12 to 13 months ago. And, you know, obviously we've seen a bit of a, you know, kind of a, a cooling off period, um, but we're still leaps and bounds beyond where we were before the pandemic. I saw a statistic recently that I thought, um, you know, really resonated um, from a, a, a study by a gentleman named William Blair, and that is 81% of physicians responsible for discharge planning now prefer to refer their patients to a home health agency versus a skilled nursing facility. So, you know, we're certainly moving fast um, in that direction. Um, and I think um, I, I would echo what, what Kathy says, that's that's where the future is headed. You know, Kevin, talking about innovators and, and first movers and, and people who are um, kind of first into the space or, or really, you know, pioneers that at, at innovating and, and introducing um, additional services through home health care or, or having to make a, a transition. I would love to get the panel's thoughts and, and perspectives on what are some of the, the, the major challenges that those first movers are facing? Having staff. I think that's another real challenge in this post-COVID environment. Uh, I think we have all seen that there was a certain portion of our workforces who went home because this was a test beyond what I was willing to <laughs> find my way through, or there were those real demands of needing to be a parent who was schooling children and working in home health. It's really difficult to make that all happen at the same time. So I think also getting our staffs back intact uh, to move this innovation work forward is also um, a challenge in front of us. Absolutely. As you reflect on the past year, um, yeah, I think it was uh, my, my good friend, Mr. John Rainey, who mentioned in the chat box that uh, necessity is truly the driver of innovation. And it, Kevin, you, you talked a lot about technology and, and technology's role in innovation and in, in home health. Um, you know, Jason, would, would love to get your perspective on, you know, if you, you think about home health care, you know, being proactive and providing ongoing care is, is of the utmost importance. Maybe talk to us a little bit about your viewpoint on the role that technology plays in providing that care. Home health care is going to see the, the, the most innovation by following you know, companies like FedEx, um, looking at logistics. If you think about the role that technology plays in, in kind of advancing the ball in, in home health care and, and you know, what the future may hold, um, what, what's your viewpoint on, on the role of technology and uh, really making this uh, either more of an accessible model, you know, home health care in, in general, um, or a more effective model? I think for us, it's no longer a question of um, whether we will. 
it's about when and what those technologies will be. Like we've clearly pivoted into technology is going to be part of our solution moving forward. Um, and I, I also believe, let me just say it again, I believe that home will be the future of where most care is being provided. So we, we appreciate everybody joining us today uh, to talk about one of our, our favorite topics. And thank you again to each of the panelists for, for being generous with your time.